Monday. It is June 1st, a very difficult day in our nation, a difficult day for us to, frankly, come on the air and do what we do. Um, what happened to George Floyd was so wrong, and you're seeing our country respond with frustration, uh, with sadness, with hurt. People want their voices to be heard. And I think it's important to point out, Kelly, you know, the majority of people, the coverage has been a lot about damage, but the majority of people around the country are peaceful protesters that want to be heard and should be heard and need to be heard right now. Correct. Uh, that is, uh, you, you said it right there. I mean, it's, it's hard for us. It's hard for you and, and me specifically to know the right thing to say because we don't know what it's like. We cannot speak to the experience of uh, people of color in this country. We, we simply cannot. And to do so would be uh, insulting. Um, but I will say that what I found uh, so um, hopeful is what's not being covered, like you said, the, ma the majority peaceful protests. Unfortunately, that doesn't get the news attention, but I, I will speak about my hometown for a, for a second. Uh, Camden, New Jersey um, had a, a, a peaceful protest and I'm, I'm just so proud of the people and the officers that came together. You see, that's the police chief right there. Uh, his uh, police chief, Wasaki, uh, said that it was, you know, important for him to uh, take part in this in this um, demonstration. A unity. They called it a unity walk, and yeah. um, and there was so many instances across um, the country of people that want to, need to, and deserve to be heard. Um, and I think that uh, Camden, New Jersey, is just one such instance. There were places, uh, Houston, uh, Santa Cruz, Norfolk, uh, Coral Gables, so many different instances of people, um, citizens, and the police force coming together, working together, hearing each other. And um, I, if you want to, if, if, if you are uh, busy today and you don't have time to follow all of the coverage, I would encourage you to just go on David Muir uh, from World News Tonight, go on his Instagram. He put together a beautiful sort of montage uh, of, of the peaceful protests. And again, for you and me, it's so hard for us to speak on an experience um, and that we've just never, never experienced. No, it, it, is, it is so true. And, you know, I'm thinking about some of those photos you showed and hearing stories from across the country from um, other police officers that um, were, were hearing the chant, walk with us from protesters. And um, this officer took off his belt and put every, all of his weapons down, and he high-fived the protesters, and he did. He walked with mm -hmm. them, and it was, uh, it was a moment of merging that was symbolic in a way. 